Shubnigurath. 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 Shubnigurath, codenamed Quake, is the absolute ruler of the monsters in Quake's reality and the final boss of Quake. Known as the Hell Mother, All Mother, and the Witch Goddess, Shubnigurath is the mother of all monsters that roam the dimensions of Quake. She has spawned an army to invade Earth using the humans' own portal technology. She'd planned on using the four runes to cause such destruction, but the runes were instead sought by the player, and were used to gain access to Shubnigurath's pit in confronting the Witch Goddess. She physically resembles a massive demonic tentacled creature, with three huge tendril-like limbs extending upwards from her bleeding central mass. The final boss's name in uh, Quake was censored for some reason in the chat. I have no idea why. What does it sound like to you guys? No, nobody, none. The word would be... Oh, I don't want to say it. Why not? I don't like to say it. Have you ever said it? No, sir. Try it. I don't like to say Try it. Try it! Really? Seriously? We're not going to have this conversation unless you say it. You want to move on to another question? Okay. Awesome. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like, I don't want to say oh, it. Come on! Can, will you say it? No, fuck no. <laughs> That's not the same thing. Why do you want me to They're say gonna it? They're going to bleep it when you say it on, the, know, on your show. Say it! I, I can't say it. If I say it, we, we, this question it won't make air. Okay, forget it. Okay, I'll skip it. Sorry, guys. It was a good question. No, it wasn't. It was a great question. It wasn't a great question if you can't say the word. So anyway, up next is Banjo-Kazooie. This is the only uh, game that I know of that has some sort of a uh, Christmassy level in it, so we're going to be doing this one. Now this one I played before when it came out. My mom uh, babysat some uh, kid who had the game and he brought that over and we played that one. I almost, I 99% uh, completed the game. All I had to do was uh, beat the final boss, but uh, I never did by myself. Uh, I got, it, the final boss uh, was a pain in the ass. I know uh, I let my brother play that part and he managed to get the part past uh, uh, the part that I was having pro problems with and then uh, and I took over the control and then finally beat that game but uh, not really on the technicality but I did eventually beat it 100% uh, on my practice run which was about a year ago uh, we'll get into that so anyway let's authenticate this oh yeah this had a, a sticker here uh, I used uh, best team to get it off. I'll show that right here and right now. Uh, I got, I found out about this from uh, Dean from Escape to Gaming. Uh, that stuff uh, takes off stickers without ruining the uh, ink on the labels. As you can see, it came out get uh, good. And uh, knowing the uh, N64 labels, they don't seem to have much gloss protecting the uh, label. Not much, or if at any at all. Because, uh, check out the uh, Pokemon uh, Snap over here it had some marker on it. I tried getting that off with the, the dry erase marker, but that didn't come out too well. So if you have any uh, ink on the uh, labels that you plan on getting off, it's probably not going to come off. So just leave it on there or just uh, buy another one without any markers on it because it doesn't look like it's going to come off. But the uh, stickers you can get off. So anyway... And of course we don't have much light here, the, of course when, before I film this, the fucking bulb burns out. Now for a future reference I use these bright bulbs, if, uh, if I can see it. Sylvia 200 watt, 120V, 380 uh, 3,880 lumens is what I use. You gotta have it real bright to light, light up this whole room. So, there you go. Alright, uh... BK. Copyright. Okay. Paint splotch. Right, hopefully we can get the manual in here on this with enough light. 
All right, I got the uh, game with uh, Tigger's Honey Hunt for uh, 37 32 And if you uh, split that up, that'd be 18 66 per game. So I might have uh, paid low for Banjo-Kazooie, paid high for uh, Tigger's Honey Hunt if you even it out. Yeah, this is probably the best platformer since uh, Super Mario 64. Although I like uh, Super Mario 64 better because it uh, doesn't go overboard with the collectibles. I think uh, if you're going to have com collectibles in the game, it should be 100 of one thing. Although Super Mario goes over, uh, over it by 20 stars. Yeah, you get 120 stars. I've well, been a sweet spot for uh, if it was just 100. Because after that, then it gets monotonous. Yeah, a lot of other uh, games like to fill it up with collectibles. I hear uh, Donkey Kong 64 is uh, one of the worst defenders, but I never played that game. So I wouldn't know. But uh, one that springs to mind is uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. With all of them fucking collectibles, I never 100%ed it. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, I almost 100%ed, but uh, my game was a glitch, so I couldn't... Uh, Get all the collectibles so it's like the one gang doesn't show up in uh, the uh, third island so I couldn't 100% uh, it but I did find the all the packages I might have to replay that one time I even do that live but no no time soon Yeah, there's also a sequel to this game, but I never played it. I still gotta get it, but I do have the manual. Yeah, you see, you got all these uh, more abilities here. I'm going to collect notes to open doors, uh, collect uh, puzzle pieces to open uh, the different levels. Uh, the gingers are like, uh, if I'm remembering uh, correctly, are like the uh, red uh, coins in uh, Super Mario 64. Get five of them and then you get a uh, other piece. And of course the mumble tokens. Uh, so you can uh, transform into uh, another animal within uh, certain levels. quick yeah of course this one I'm not uh, too familiar with uh, as is uh, as with a uh, Super Mario 64 And one more thing before I go. While uh, looking for the game last year, uh, this popped up on uh, eBay. Although I got this uh, back uh, back when the uh, game came out in uh, Nintendo Power. They give you uh, catalogs with uh, all kinds of things to buy. And this was uh, one of the things we got. Yeah, and it's funny how uh, I was looking at the prices for this. I'm surprised at how expensive it is. Uh, one guy was trying to sell it for $3,000. But uh, there's also another one up there. And uh, somebody sold it in an auction for, I forget what was it, 250 So, the guy that uh, was selling it, buy it now for 3000 lowered the price down to like under that two something. You'll, uh, I'll show it up here. Yep, because he knew he was going to sell it at that price, knowing that uh, it sold uh, a much lower price. So, he lowered it down to where the market was. Otherwise, you can bet your ass that was just going to stay there without ever being sold at that price. But uh, that was during when uh, 
Banjo Kazooie was announced for Super Smash Brothers. Well, uh, everybody was looking for it. Now there was a Banjo Kazooie was highlighted, so of course the price is going to go up. Everybody wants to get uh, everything related to that, and that's when I got the uh, game I want to get before it goes way higher the price. Than it was. So anyway, now I just looked it up. Uh, these things are selling for uh, 150. Still high up there. I, I forget what price this was. I don't think I have the catalog anymore. Like maybe 15, 20 dollars, something like that. When it originally came down. So that's why I don't throw uh, these old things away. You never know how much they're gonna be. So anyway, I'll see you guys on the live stream.